So everybody, it's my here. Welcome to a video that I don't even know where I will put this in a kind of category over my gear collection of videos. Today's video, I just want to talk slash summarize and openly discuss some things. I don't know how long this video is going to be. This is going to be like a stream run of some stuff. However long it may be, I would hope that y'all watch fully through it. Take your time. Don't rush. This is supposed to be kind of shit. It's of like, one, how I am as a person right now. Things that I want to go and talk to you guys about. No better in the collective thing right now. This is not script. This is just a very open talk with y'all. Open myself up. This is Rob Puck from the Brain. What is being said. And y'all see me. Let me fly. I'm chain of Africa. Like shit. It's me. That's all it is, really. I wanted to say I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. I wouldn't be here without y'all. I want to give some shout outs. Talk about me as a person. This is kind of like a Q&A of things possibly that y'all could ask me. If I watch you on a Q&A, I'll leave a case of post for my celebration. That will be up by the time this will be up. And y'all can ask me those questions and I'll be answering them in the comment section. Or I will make a whole video about it. But possibly any questions that you have to care to, because I know my community, if you want to call it that, because I'm not a full YouTuber, I want to push to be a full YouTuber. I want to make this be a full YouTuber. This is one of my dreams, and I've big pushed myself to do it. And since I have 101 subscribers by the time I'm recording this from what I saw, I just have 498 more subscribers to go. That's going to be a long, long time away until I actually make money from this. So we'll see. I just want to make busting content, do something I love doing, and I can backpedal on because I do have bigger form dreams than this, even though this is a great way to showcase my creative feel for a even plate thing, and I want to do things that through this could open that up more in the possibility and project that and do bigger form credit of stuff. It's also just the fact that this is something that I wouldn't count as a full count of job because... I actually did get let go from my AMC job in case I ever paid attention to anything that I said or following his post on Instagram or different little shit like that. I did work at a movie theater. I got let go. I'm not going to explain how, but short sense of this is the fact that I just got let go, so I fired the beef for real. Just out of the pure fact that I didn't show up for former day, there's an emphasis in not doing this. My schedule case set up and the planes involving that. Haven't been full pushed through. And then mixed in a case of delay or whatever. And I never had a good work since schedule from going onward when stuff like that happened. And again, it's a long story short of it, what is being said. But no pressure came in the same sense of it, with that being said, because I live a good all around life. And it kind of my mom supported me. I got a check coming in. I got plans to do with that. I myself invest. I already crown on things. I am still a kid. So at hardcore, I don't feel no case of big hurt or big intake of like, of build of hatred from it. I don't feel no addition. It's not that deep. I don't feel nothing from it with that being said. I don't want to put too much on my business with that being said. And as I can tell, I'm blessed. I'm happy with that being said. So again, there's nothing else coming with that. But as well, this again, my answer to reiterate isn't scripted so this is just me talking i've been three minutes in and it's just simply that so yeah it's kind of like that thank you video that i wanted to put out when i have 50 subscribers but i've been so busy and i forgot to and then a great plot of videos came out from there and i wish like what 70 or 80 around that time i don't fucking know, i forgot but yeah pretty much just that i'm gonna be going over a bunch of shit i hope you guys will enjoy i appreciate you guys like i said before all around I got some shout outs, some things I want to clear up. Looking over my videos with a channel of 101 subscribers, make a new introduction. Have this video will be the basis for possibly newcomers and things like that. I might make a whole separate video that's supposed to fully showcase what this is going to be like, as my mainline video was a thing. Of past people coming back, people were still there and just representing what I, in the same sense of content, will be like in this case about how I am and what I, again, in the case of content, will be like in the same sense. Because 
again, I wasn't uploading, I wasn't taking this, it wasn't strong form dedication that I am now, what is being said to it. I didn't reckon any attributes of a man that had discipline with his content, strong means, strong guys, strong bondage to you guys, as I know that you guys are supporting me for watching, commenting, obviously subscribing and following me anywhere else and believing in me <clears throat> and hypothetical to grow as you know support. And in the words of Steezy Kane, this is like my plan. And I've been trying to prosper the entire garden to new lengths of fancy love and great a discipline. I've been feeding y'all the water, great nutrients and grains, been trying to bless in every grace of light in the case of time when y'all guys are maybe not having the best day. I hope that I can inspire y'all to do the same as I want to make shit to inspire. I want to stand for something of a great deal of content and bust and stuff. And again, no repetition. I, again, within this callback of I content being something of greater sense, not to like put myself higher or lower. This middle ground is standing for something of a great deal. And I really want to put that in, ponder all the things that I wanted to do from day one when I saw YouTube for the first time and saw what it could pull me into, this is what I wanted to do. And if I can make this be a living, I can show my artistic capability and showcase what I want to do for this, that's fine. Now, granted, I'm not going to say nothing else. I'm not going to like quit on my other shit and say, no, this is it. Even though this is something a possibility because I've made it be something. This is at a low form. If I want to be bigger, I have a different form set up. I'm in my original form room. This is the setup. This is just stuff like this. I can't really show too much. We got that post right there. My shelf. My bed is in the back. The former Miles Morales side cover of the Spider-Man across Spider-Verse poster is right there, which that is a movie of the fucking year right there. That's a banger ass movie right here. This is my bed. Well, in the case of me buying this and possibly playing baseball, but I'm not going to get too much into it. But last two years ago, I had some ops. It was paranoia. So I had this is also just a cool bat also for costume in case of design. Since what fit the school space is one Halloween ago, I was in the go as Casey Jones. And, you know, the bat is a part of the character. But looks like pretty much so explanatory that, you know, I wanted to do a great deal of things and tick with that. With that being said. And, you know, I'm just happy to be where I'm at and doing the great stuff that I do. And no, in case pun intended, in the common sense at my goals, I still have bigger for purpose and push to go about things and go around it about the case of credit of great A to use in this case, evolving my content. So, yeah, pretty much it when it comes to things like that. And I, all around, to produce the best form of content to you guys doing the best of myself my mental heart spirit emotionally all forms of theoretically things like that the fancy way I love that cross spider verse poster versus I'm gonna get over here Miles Morales super black team versus red purple terror spider-man I'm telling you that choke same was a hundred and twenty thousand percent Racist, bro. I'm not trying to make too much noise. It is 28 a.m. by the time I'm recording this, and my mom is asleep. I should be going to bed. I do plan to, without a doubt, because my energy is going to be gone. Maybe eat before that happens, but I ain't planning to do anything super more than this. So, let's believe that. That's pretty much it when it comes down to me doing what I do. When it comes down to that, it's been eight minutes in. Big long intro. Again, this is all plugged out from the head, so I don't want to be rambling. Just saying, I get into the case things. But yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. So I'm going to clear up some things from the head. They were going to push on some notes. So, number one, again, like I said, thank you. Y'all don't know how much this means to me. I want to go and explain some things off from the heart and then pitch with some things to talk about my channel indirectly. And the type of things I'm going to be talking about is an accounting for who I am, like I said, why I do what I do, to stand where we are now, improvements, disagreements are possible, improvements are middle ground, or reckon or maybe, and potential to move with y'all, when y'all my family, I want to try to do the best in service to y'all, how to, but still stand as me, and all credible form, sense of objective, 
good stand with things because in the credit of me being good enough for right now, I know I could always improve. So you got any critical objective stand, that's fine. But, you know, I got some strong means and being of what I'm trying to go and do. Because being said, I'm trying to skyrocket beyond the fucking stars, go to heaven like shit, like we'll call them, go beyond crossroad, all that case of great defineness. You know what I'm saying? Conquer all of it like I'm star scripture down, conquering all the stars, you know what I'm saying? Elder Ring. But joke aside, though, besides trying to pioneer to the greatest extent, that's pretty much where this is going to stand. So, first off, and when I'm sitting, I'm sitting, my camera's gave me chair, I came my throne. It's being said, you know, rocks back. But besides that, first thing is who I am. I'm a model rock games. If you're new here in this first video you're seeing, if we pick it to my case of new cloud, what is being said, I had an account of me showcasing that's in a smaller form. It might be shining a better showcasing of who I am in the form of right now, what is being said. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Amon. I'm a 17 year old kid out of Columbus, making band content, doing my thing. Please subscribe. Okay, thanks. The, the average shit, right? But I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you're having a bad day, hopefully this beam some light for you. I appreciate you for joining and coming in. With this being said, I appreciate all y'all that have peeked into the senses of what I'm doing. I all around. Thank y'all in the grand scope of things, like I said before. And again, if you are new here, running up to the case of my video to this point or beyond, I hope all of them make your day. I have a great diverse run of content. I can't wait to go and sparge out on what is being said. And in the stitch of that as well, if you're just peeking in because it's been coming with Chloe, showcasing that I've been shaking my way through what is being said from subscribers, views, where the fuck. I'm just saying, you know, boy, problem with this shit. So, side, like, that's dope. I appreciate y'all. Like, I'm not trying to sound like model tone. Guys, it's me because it's a big mouse. I'm happy as fuck. Like, I was screeching slash big hype when this happened. And I would have done that if it was like it was after school and I got the clarity and credibility to be able to do that. Because, again, it's at that hype point. But this happened so late. Not entirely. This is more because me getting prepared and unraveling it. And granted, I was eating and I was using the bathroom. And I was using number two. Taco Bell had a different point. I don't eat Taco Bell. Chipotle would have different. They don't get me started. But jokes aside, though, it's like to that extent, what it being said. And, you know. It's here, and also I don't feel like it. Like, it's OD. I don't want to force reaction. This is me. This is me being real. I am happy with this being said. It's just like, that's, you know, it. This is just me. Y'all, I guess, the technical thing, because I don't want to, like, put y'all off from being that. It's just, I don't want to, like, act like I'm big. I want to be humble with I want to be strong with things. I want to, like, brag on them, but... For y'all and the precaution to be my technical fans or viewers, my family, my army in this sense, because y'all being family or even knowing me in real life, because I had a great deal of my technical people, even though too many to count of being people that know. But if you do know me and then tie with being a fan of this channel, you know I'm considerably more in the defined of extrovert, but I'm a mix of introvert. I feel like I'm a paradox of both. I stand greatly with people and I do good, but on my general passage, I'm quiet or I'm very monotone or I have a very like flexible stance sense of how I talk and go about things, right? So I'm kind of a split of both. My father is more dominantly a introvert. My mom is an extrovert and how I was raised, how I see things, the fact that I'm a very introspective dude, I would classify myself as. I would say I'm a split good of both. I'm mainly extroverted. Like, I don't seclude myself. I don't delude the same sense of, like, the stand of being great in the grace of others in the point of, like, a good, happy feel. It's just I'm not in the sea having a problem being secluded in the same sense of just myself and by a stand of having be able to be with people. That, again, is fine. Is I want to put that off. And, again, like I said... I'm not deluded in the same sense or like delusional or like out of the take of touch from even pronouncing and articulating that right in the sense of this. I'm not out of the persistence of involving people and other different things. Like it just kind of takes in both forms. Again, I don't want to be like overthinking or overpressing it. I'm just simply saying for kind of a different show than me, I'm all in the above. 
It's just that I'm not out of the general touch with involving people because nobody generally says that. I might just seem like that because, you know, I'm a friendly giant. I don't necessarily like, talk out of form. I would say I'm a funny guy that can be introverted on his own secluded thing. But it mainly depends. I'm going to tell you this because of someone who could be paranoid or superstitious and kind of likes to be by in his own observed sense, I don't necessarily like to have to get out there. I will make that be the case, especially if I feel like I'm going to need to because I'm going to be specifically here with y'all every time. And I've done that with this channel. I've done that in real life. I do that generally most of the time. But I don't really have to have to. And it doesn't sing that extent. And most importantly, I kind of don't care. Then I'm just not going to. But that's not even me trying to put off with the people. I'm not anti-social. Now, the anti-social club is a meme and a joke that I, like, I mess with. But I can't join it. But it's only in the fact that I'm just one of them niggas that kind of preferably like to be in his own spot with his headphones jamming or listening or watching a video of whatever case in sense of doing and being myself. I'm fine being at a table cracking jokes and we do wear the fuck fuckery at the lunch table. But I could be at the lunch table doing that exact same shit. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way. Could you considerably said that? I kind of want to explain it a little bit. I don't know if that's just me, but that being said, but that's in the collection and things like that. But that being said, is this like, is that something that uh, marks some form of like split connection between again, the extroverts and introverts? Just you as a person, whoever solely watching this video, that's dope to me too. Love you. No homo. I love all y'all. My army. I appreciate y'all. And to go and give a explanation why I say the army is because I count myself as a king. I am a mon ra. What is being said. Oh, I'm mon ra. In the case of specific comic and every form saying. And that is this translation to a regard for the counting of the god of gods. King of all kings. The sun god ra of Egyptian mythology. And the count for a king. You got an army. You got a royal let niggas behind him. So y'all my army. I would count y'all as that. And a joke in a way. Not as a general. But to the same stand. And you know. I appreciate you. But it being said. It's just a cool saying to me. But yeah. Pretty much it. What is being said. I just want to go and explain that. I would like to go and explain a few different things. Is being said. So my name. Amon Ra Games. One, a mom, technically, by such a government stand, is just my name. My full technical name by change and ready is Amun Ra. I'm not going to say my full government name because I got baby mama problems and playing. But <laughs> that's pretty much like why it's so expensive in games. Because mainly this is going to be a gaming channel and half credit to be still is. And I don't necessarily want to change that. I do kind of want to do Sun Nevers. My dad, shout out to my pops. I'm going to get more into him and anyone else. When it comes to full shout out, but pretty much the games was added just because again, mainline was a gaming channel. And the stand of what I do is game I'm a gamer at heart. That's explained in the bio slash description of my channel. And I don't really gotta explain that. Again said in the bio. But my father suggested maybe splitting different parts of creation in half. Because solely being on one thing, he can't keep up with it. Because one, he's older. He got better for himself to do. I'm not a mainline creator. He wants to support me, help me out, do whatever the fuck. And again, I appreciate you, Pops. He was the first motherfucker to comment on my first video. Which again, care to him. Love you, Dad. I appreciate you. Love you, bro. AKA my father. I wouldn't be here if he didn't have the sauce of the ribs to be with my mom. So it is what it is. And... With it being said, my, I kind of feel like that. I feel like maybe it's if y'all want, but I have culminated all these even great creations together on this channel just alone with that other stuff. So I don't really have the means to do it. I'm not really eager to, but I would create a second channel. I feel like my second channel would maybe be my second precaution on hobby besides video games. Video games like number one single thing. I'm on the game. PS4 to Xbox. Mainly I'm all about game. I'm all about the gaming verse world, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's my main thing. I'm a gamer. It's self-explanatory. Y'all see it all the way from. If I had to say my second hobby besides split of this would be if it doesn't count tower gaming, because I'll say it's one to say that's the main place of how I push things out, would be 
YouTube form stuff or editing what is being said or crafting together videos or producing them. If I had to say a second one outside of this would definitely be the debate or big intellectual stand. I'm not trying to see myself as a high end form, you know, intellectual face ass. I'm just saying like I will place myself at a high end form smart dude that's precise. An admin in the form of his creation and things like that. So things that kind of start more of that feel. The educate, the talk, have a big kind of case of mind for talking form thing. To put out more precise, profound, and elegance and purpose type form things. Which is a person who has a lot of opinions and very textual about them. And feel like his form purpose and opinion can be very integral to actual maybe stitch of striking change. And maybe educate some of our people. I kind of want maybe if it would be give me the yes, middle, or no. If that may be something. That's the only type of channel I think I could actually be eager to make a second channel and do. But because I've grown so much on this, I don't necessarily think I need to do that for a second. Especially because this is my channel. This is my baby. Right? I put so much work. I put so much effort. I put years of work into this. Not like dummy. Like some Corey Kenshin shit. But I would say I cry myself with the greatest credibility. Because let me make this clear. I'm not going to go too much. I'm not going to rant on this. Because this is the thing I'm going to get hyped about. Because I feel like I deserve this shit. But listen. I've done so much on this channel. That a regular person possibly. At my age. Might not have cared for. And that's talking when I started back. I came back to this bitch. When I was 14. Considerably. At that age, no one would care as much. And I kept going. I kept being consistent. I changed. I've grown and progressed. I processed everything that I did. And I perfected it in a great A way. I done some great A shit when it comes down to this content. And I'm proud of that. I have to ponder in form of view, case, and content. I did my own thing. I didn't have to stick new bars of being out of pocket and callous. I'm about to say this is how my stuff is going to be affecting people. I didn't lie. I didn't scam. I ain't pulling no fake shit. I stay myself. I stay crawling through the mud like we was over here in a training day case episode. I did my thing. I did all type of case of consistency and great product put together. I made interesting ideas. I played great games. I like challenging games. Changed my opinion a lot. And I've grown so much, I feel like, in the grand scope of things. And I did all that by just being myself. I ain't asked for no form of viewers. I ain't asked for nobody to scribe out of pocket lead. And I ain't asked, definitely, you know, because I ain't pulling no comic vulture or shit. I ain't do none of that. And no stamp or stinging thing to those people. But I feel I can cry myself as a true case of W form YouTuber coming up. Because I did this shit my way. I ain't need nobody else to make me do what I did. I did this shit my way, nigga. Okay, I did my thing. From what you want, call me whatever. But nobody can call me a lazy fake nigga when it comes out to this. That's something I want to go ahead and proudly say. You know, nigga got great intricate mind, rich nigga from what appetite look. I did my thing stellarly, solid, just straight busting. Ain't no nigga tell me nothing. I'm proud of that. I deserve to be proud of that. Ain't no nigga can tell me nothing. You feel me? I just love that shit, bro. Straight humbling and a grand scope, but I deserve some flowers in the come out of that, man. Man, it's just straight up busting how I did that, that being said. But besides all that, in the case of other purpose in mind, again, with probably making a second channel and then as well, sitting in a soap of intellectual things that make a positive purpose and subvert expectations, possibly in a plan of. How I'm like in other regard of these opinions and other reckoning and again the counting stench of like other stand for purpose or things like that. I could really bring very spotlight center and talk to the point. And maybe some people don't really think about indifferent purposes. And these would go all type of things. I'm not saying politics, as I wouldn't say I'm striking like a John Doyle or Hunter Avalon dude, but I do got my opinion on politics in every circle of different things on life. Um a question a lot of great things and the concern of things. I have a considerable bit of worth my father Republican views. I have the full research more struggling on that, but I got I would say a good objective stand of views logical. I'm very open minded. I'm middle sided for a great deal 
of conflicts or any disagreements, right? I'm a very, I would say, understanding of the agree to disagree stand. I was a very respectful person, considerable debater. So it would be things that involve in life stand, health stands, maybe religion, different places stands, stands in fiction that I don't like or forms of things. It's things that are to educate people and talk about or things like that. That have all spices of life, but it's mainly that. It's just me talking to y'all. It's me talking with people. Shit like that. That's kind of where that stands. Right? That's where that's going to be at. It could also be like videos of bloopers or whatever thing. It could be videos exploring more of what I said. Call back to a different case of video and they count my opinion now in Pacific about it, even though a great deal of them on the main line of my channel is going to be told about, especially in the case of my opening to intro video. The people come into my channel and then play again within main purpose and precaution of presence of like bigger points and all piled together and that extent of other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but. All around, that's pretty much I'm gonna come out to my name, other uh, some of my channel, things like that. But time to answer a big question, possibly some of y'all. My mom, why did you start this channel? Why did you create it? Well, I started it for fun. I saw all these YouTubers doing it, I think it would be fun, maybe to do it. It was just for a little bullshit. And I tried like five times before middle eighth grade to really. Try to be YouTube, but all fell back because consistency, laziness, too much stuff in life, not having the best taste and content, and regretting a lot of different steps back to back and not full performing at my best. And the reason why I came back is already explained and it still stands as it, but to kind of give it a more in depth QA precaution press of it was because I saw I had a lot of potential. I believed in myself now, being more mature, being. The de facto line of like good teenage age to start growing with shit, being a half old age to being a freshman as I was 15 being a freshman. And I turned the case of my new form age in the form of summer. I was born July 6, 2006 to be a you know, 17 boy was being so But yeah, I saw potential, so I pushed for it. It also was some personal shit like. I had a lot of different things in my mind pushing me down, and that was a big thing with a lot of regrets and different change connect with things in my life. And so I kept pondering all that, and it kind of pressured into the form of me being like, I I got a lot of niggas or things in my life reflecting the idea of you ain't going to be shit, striking new bars of this nigga thing ain't going to be something now. Nah, he going to be in the gut of this fat nigga. He don't know what he going to do. Bitch nigga shit. I basically got a lot of negative emotion or negative niggas around me of the past or things like that. I don't want to be a nigga not having nothing. My post is falling off here. I need to go put that up properly. God damn it. Spider-Man across Spider-Verse. I'm going to let me get them a buy full on digital. But still. Because okay, I'm about to go. I think it's a full live action feel will be. Cool to see and account for the MCU, but the place animated would be perfect for Marvel's the pinnacle of him, the fact of precaution, purely new case of buzzingness, but it's being said, Ben Shopital, how the fuck you say his name is Shopital, Shapiro, it's being said, no mean shit, will be critically nasty on why Marvel's in the case of all of them, it is dope in the same sense. But besides the lane of this man, Miles and being in GOAT stand of character, with my actual purpose of saying in this credit was like in the case of being inspired by others and feel like miles in the joke sense it pushed me to go further and that's going to be able to a shout out other kind of things my dad has always been on the fact that i could grow and do great with things like this and i'm very talented and he saw potential in me that's why he was the first dude to really help me he was the main dude to help me and I always push for things to try to do that. Like, I tried doing streaming things on Mixer. I tried doing shit on Twitter. I tried doing little form and stuff. But it never striked the bar of being what I did now and what was being brought into play coming into the future going onward from being 14 there. It also was the fact that it helped me get for a lot of different things. I went through a lot of different cases of trauma. Where the fuck? 
in between my past, with that being said, and being a YouTuber helped strike new goals, with this being said, you know, do 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 strike, bam, you know what I'm saying, so, it helped me in the grand scope, because I would be able to stick out by different form of content ideas that I always had bubbling around my head that want to boil into a pot and we'll run it together and full of them a fire beam and want to full pole. Bring that bitch like in front of her. With this being said, full cat, put that bitch knives and cauldron like full pauldron that bitch in the stasis of like beam strike. It was all boiling up in the pot, cracking together buses and correspondence of kinetic seed that would really stick a new stand of content on this platform. I'm not saying I didn't see change, but being anatomy and all fire between I have a great neural involving content uniqueness and different things and those things. So that's where I stood. And then tied with other things. And you know, I've changed a lot. I found a lot of guidance. I've been better. I've changed to be better. I changed from that point when I was fourteen. I changed drastically in between my entire years being on here and with this being said I've been on YouTube we talk continuously technically through that almost four and a half years with this being said in full collection cause I think my oldest video comes at the three year mark and counting here it's almost right I don't know it's full cause I haven't done the full math but that's just some return coming here so about three and a half to damn near four years right been great progression right and I'm happy, you know, it took a long time to get here, but I'm happy for what I did. I'm happy for how much I progressed. I'm glad that I did what I did. And it's not just inspiration for my dad and other sick of stuff and following the calling. It's also better perfect our plane and things like that. And it's my growth as a person, right? We love my grandma, recipe, my guy, rest of so I love you, grandma, I miss you. Believe in me, me being growth for different tie, different things, finding great guidance and great inspiration from different great people like Tupac, my hero, Muhammad Ali, as you see by the cut, and Tyler, things. And him inspired me to be better and perform to the greatest extent, you know what I'm saying? Push me into different collection of things, finding greater guidance. But the thing that really striked in the midst of me being 14, that halfway my eighth grade, that really hit a nerve. Like, I'm talking, this is the thing that really pinched my soul to do this shit. Like, I'm going to prove every nigga wrong, even if you don't got to do within the context that made me want to do this, was when I was arguing with this nigga. It was some flimsy, some bullshit. I'm talking, the context was so dumb that it wouldn't even make sense to be to the argument. Like, it was, the context was in a place of a weird hole that was just getting dug deeper and deeper by all collective people. I'm not saying I had it, because, you know, I was the sundowner of the show. I was cutting away at all strings to get loose from the bounds of wherever this hole was going deeper into, right? I was cut loose on this bitch. It's just that, again, the content is so done. This is cringy every time I think about it. Because this context, it was just so, oh my lord. Like shit, you know what I'm saying? And the context from my recollection was simply the fact that I didn't want to be called nigga in any type of way. And I was... Making the joke of, yeah, yeah, the guy who said, for all of you offended or whatever bullshit, I want to remind you in advance. I'm very sorry and I apologize for the absolute reason and cracked his head like 90 degrees. Not giving a fuck about what you think. Like, shit, get the fuck up out of here. Like, that iconic line about, like, not giving a fuck. I'm mean, nigga, suck my dick. Shit like that. He said that he would suck his own dick and... Me be able to even know by still standing today, it is gay. Like, this is what I got. Like, it still is technically gay. Like, it's funny. And I guess for the credit, yeah. Because, like, you admire it that much. But it's just the way he said it. And, like, Penn staring at himself. Especially how out of pocket he said it. And I know this guy does, I know he does this for whatever. And he is funny in the grand scope of that. Shout out to him. 
With that being said, but it's like, it's kind of gay, bro. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. But joke aside, though, I said that it was gay, and then it went to this random pores into me not like being called nigga. Now, granted, I don't care. I can talk about my feeling about the N word, especially as a person who said it, and y'all know this. But it was only because of how they said it, and also in my mind, I'm thinking that it's super bad words, especially my ideals and my educate, my better value for what the N word is, what nigga means as a abbreviation form term is different, right? And so, this was again in the past, I think the leader form comment, and I didn't even reply to any of this shit, this is past my different. This nigga kept poking at me, bullying me, messing with me, whatever, for whatever you want to call it, I wouldn't call it that because I wouldn't say internet, so cyberbullying. A true strong thing, I think it can, only if it stretches to different forms. I don't truly think the way they like to paint it as, in the sense of like a concept like this is truly that. People trying to say for me that it was whatever, but this nigga was just booming, wild, and annoying. And so you pull what some niggas have done when I have my different arguments or discourse with them. And it's in a sense, it's going to my channel because I post a little smaller stuff. He was trying to poke fun at me and made me feel like I was some baby, right? And commenting on one of my videos in a plan of me being a bit of still plays with toys and still coming at me. So went out his way to go to another stand of the internet to go ahead and pin me with a bunch of different case hate and insults, where the fuck, call me whatever. And it placed a kind of big nerve wracking thing to me. That one for the contest it was a joke. I don't think I was a baby uniform of that, but I need to grow. I need to do better and stop falling into this. But I gotta be a better form, obviously, person, intellectual. I want to showcase different things about me and prove a nigga like this who's saying that I'm a baby and I'm stuck in the same thing. I don't grow up. I don't do this. Some shit that wasn't even full presence of that same poke and stand, but still strike that edge of like, I need to pierce for all the negative walls and shake up the building like shit. And craft something out of it. I need to strike new corners of bus. And I need to find my destiny. Like I was on my anime destiny arc, my nigga. I'm like, I'm going to prove this nigga wrong. In the mix of my inspiration, I always pull back to that line with Muhammad Ali. I can repeat it. I can even read it off the back of my hand, bro. <clears throat> fast. Fast. All you chumps are going to bow when I whoop them. All of you. I know you got them picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. So love with a quote. Now, it's not in full because I had to say it in full. That's just what it came into, like, in a fast track. Because in the case of fool saying, he was saying after that fast, I know you got to pick. Go ahead, I know you got a paper in the case of scenes. It's like, I'm a fool like a butterfly, sting like a bee. George can't hit what his eyes can't see. All you trumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. And perfected against George Foreman, Big Dog, in the 1975, was 1977, I think, maybe. 1977, form fight in Rumble in the Jungle. Great A fighter. In the case of Jules Foreman, I'm a little checker of niggas' souls. Got best outboxed by Muhammad Ali in the Grand Form Show. Respect to both fire special Jules Foreman. I like this movie. Shout out to, what is his name? Kevin Davis? After he played Jules Foreman? Whoever the actor, shout out to you. Love your forms. But I think it was a dope movie all around. And I love Muhammad Ali because of that, because he brought me an inspiration. So, history. Tells itself the full showcasing everything I did from there is that I've changed my opinions greatly, and that goes a lot of stuff. I'm gonna talk more about that, but I'll talk about some different things, things for why I do what I do and how I go about things, different place of things is like that. And to explain some different things for me, and then answer different questions that might be in the form of different people like that. One, why I do the type of content I do? Well, because I like it so explanatory. It makes it just being a gamer and all shred or different things like that. It's my creative freedom. Pretty much it. It's a simple answer. Moving on. Who, number one, inspired me to make content like this? Well, all around, it was myself. But if I had to say a person that pitched this, greatest to me to go about being myself, no matter the case, that would be my favorite character of all time. 
Goku. My favorite protagonist. My favorite protagonist in anime, all of history of fiction, anything. Goku is the GOAT to me. Now, I'm not one of these dumbass Goku fanboys, and you can try to put me in the bath for any offense I have from you. You know, I got strong defense. I got some intellectualism here. I got some special intelligence. I'm just saying, he's always been a proud great hero in case of inspiration to me and great fighter has been and made me improve on a bunch of fundamentals. My health, my strength department, weight, good leads. I have lost, man. In case you guys can tell, man, it's got. No skin here to reform bodies, but you're not wearing no kids undershirt with this, you know. I'm standing good, you know. Stomach is mainly where it's at, but you know, man, coming together with fate, man. Got the strong boy, I'm kind of like on his light skin, jaws forming, big body, regard, wrecking, and stirring, you know what I'm saying? But I stand proud with my belief that Goku holds a great deal of inspiration to me, and he pushed me to do that. Being said, and that's just like from a fictional kid all around, we're talking people considerably. My dad already explained celebrity. To higher extent, Tupac still so accounts greatly because big inspiration to me. Respect a lot of his things, respect his hustle, respect his inspiration. I love his mood, all eyes on me. Shout out to the actor who plays Tupac and old poor Jabusa from him. If we had to say a YouTuber, like who's my favorite YouTuber? Who's the nigga that inspired me to do me? And a bunch of other correspondence of things today is a tie between two people. On May figure, it will be Sam Gladiator. Now, you probably don't know who Sam Gladiator is. It's because he's not super current and not super consistent with his YouTube channel, and my man kind of fell off, I'm not going to lie, I still have real respect for him, so if he ever sees this or whatever, and for the record, I appreciate you, I respect all your work, you are a great A YouTuber, and you still consider we are, I love your content, and all nothing but respect, and humble love, you know what I'm saying, but he was this YouTuber that did RPs, voice acting, funny regards to, like, some early regard stance. So, like, kind of like kid to pretend teenager stance stuff. And what made him popular was back in the day, around, like, the mid-2010s, where Yandere Simulator became popular. And it was growing vastly. Man, I remember those days, man. Yandere is some as fuck. It's mainly because Yandere did. That nigga don't know what to do with all the game. I mean, it has so much potential to be good. I was thinking maybe somebody like, need to take over a project and make an anime or something. Cause it would be dope in find delivery, but so many of the people are big fans to it, big love to it. With it being said, fell off from the sense of the tree branch that it was trying to grow on and it kept swelling away. To the swap of all the case of the grace of goodness that I had. With being said, this deserted of all the happy, great blendness that I had with fitness fans, anime characters, craft, storylines, voice actors, voice actors, all poor within busting. The tree kept dissolving of all its taste. With this being said, possibly on it with apples, people, whatever you want to say in this analogy, just disperse, my nigga. And then power of him, like that thing is pulled back and all the ponder of. All the greatness he possibly had and the money pulled back, you know what I'm saying? But if he ever somehow gets done, I feel like by the time he gets it done, GTL 6 will come out, then maybe. But, I mean, he's been doing that for a long time. Now, granted, it was the 2010s and now we're in the 2020s. But hopefully the idea for it to get finished, I don't know, like next year, Sunday, I don't know. Because what is he on? He like in the third antagonist or fourth, like free under there. And how many is there? Like 10? So that's like so long ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. And if y'all want my suggestion for like anime, be like, you know that fantasy that I once I forgot her name, you know, I love sick shit, or the original kind considerably what Yandere is, right? As a concept, the simp to love sick demonic form mindset. That's the type of series I want. And I feel like that's dope, especially the characterization. And Yandere Dev is the protagonist sense of mindset with how he created Yandere Chan is interesting. I think Yandere Chan and potential has a lot of great ways to be a dope ad pretend like be my favorite. Cause of how interesting she is. You're playing a bad guy that's so out of perspective of the general smidge of this I'm a bad nigga, but I will play him for a circumstance of me. You're playing the shorty that's bad, but the bad that's so commonly in the credit to be crafted as something to indulge in beyond just I'm a bad smear 
geeky ass nigga that just is laughably dumb and ridiculous, like a GTA character. I'm bad by a lot of conflictive, psychological, and great at writing twists like Kratos considerably. I have a lot of bad things about me that can still bring you to a stitch of liking me through fondness of vision, some capture of better goodness than just a little fling of something because of this, like not a simple anti-villain stand of like doing something incredibly good and then new storm of bullshit. Like, I don't know, Jimmy or the Warriors considerably, or even like a character that didn't fight from New York, like some shit like that. Like that is a big ponder of all the different bullshit that she does. If you would go on to killings because you don't have to kill anything. It's very hard. Killing is like the more easier way. But if you want to try to make the best perfectionist, Try to stand wholesome and good. Make Yan Dairy Chan seem just like a fucking weirdo, but I have some comments to the place of her pursuance of Senpai Penis. Then maybe that's the case. Pause there, but still. But besides the brand, Yan Dairy Chan being made besides the point of Yan Dairy Devil, what he's done being said, that's the my throat pause. <clears throat> It's still cool, like I said. It's just that that's like seeing reasons for that. But again, besides you know, being bad, in case you're yawning, dead, and playing the things, do side. Simply, with that being said, I think that hold a big craft and why he became successful, and also because of that time he made his Yandere Chan Minecraft RP and that blew up initially. That's what got me into him. I agree, funnest when I watched the entire series from start to finish. I watched Tokyo Ghoul. I watched any better showcasing, any reboot, everything. I watched everything with him. And I watched that shit annually. And I think I'll probably start to rewatch that shit for memory's sake. And the pure fact that it was funny as hell and interesting. And he's the one that brought my fondness to RP and acting. Showing a different side of myself and a different form of introspective things. And YouTube creation. Making a internet person that have still stayed tied to myself but was crafted through the content right and that's what he did and i respect that. i respect his directing skill his story was very intricate and animate the whole cast was defined and beloved i loved everybody i love tartus i love brian i love him still i know there's a count that he i don't know didn't give the best care for the rest of everybody where he got like great a money from it, and he only gave it to his friends. I don't know if there's an agreement with everybody else that he was supposed to pay them, and as I know, that's a mixed thing with some people. This means it's not like a director cut in between people's things. Now, it's like an actual cut, like on the movie, like I'm talking, it's cut in the form of the spread of the money, you know what I'm saying? Giving out, and even then, it's so way in the past that I kind of don't care with that being said, but still. But I respect him. I respect everybody aligned with him. I respect him. And I love you, bro. I know he kind of like Ezra Miller, but the man from all accounts I know is a cool ass dude. I would love to meet you. I respect you, bro. He's still my favorite YouTuber because of how much inspiration he had. And in fact, I still find in the overall board sense, his content credibly is still grand scope good and interesting. I'm not going to lie, Tokyo Ghoul did get some wild poor shit, but I have to peek into the season to see how ridiculously why it did come to be. But I had to say the most stingly funny thing that made me feel well poor of all the excitement, love, and craft that he made, I would just say would be in the case of me just finding Yandere the is a case of YouTuber, so it's a case of developer, poor into getting bigger lightness on their simulator and then correspond to him all together. But we're talking a similar moment to him that again pitched the greatest counter likeness and then pushed that out, ring that the greatest fuel of fire to fury man, that bitch, and just straight pounding in the means of busting this. Pause with it being said in precaution. It would be possibly in that one form of so the video where in pitch of idea it's seen so much great kind of case possibility that it brought me in and then Stick of the one episode form regard a video that run with him as a tire series because they're technical, all that. But it's episode and then playing of like the episode pitch idea that really brought me in in the form of Yo Tokyo Ghoul. Then back to Yandere Simulator RP within that one episode where he's trying to talk to like I think this girl called Kazuki, she's a reptilian looking girl. He has a crush on her, he puts all this stuff together, he pulls out a fucking ring. This nigga in high school. Trying to fucking marry this shawty. 
right? And I was rooting for this nigga because, like, Sam, like, his protagonist, dumb as fuck, considered evil, malicious, terrible-ass nigga, family guy character. And I'm rooting for this nigga because he is a likable dumbass. Like, I'm talking likable Mordecai if he has some consistency. And at least he gets a girl and at least all, all kind. He would not murk his own friend for vagina. So that's the only reason why I like him. Just putting that there. This nigga tries marrying the shorty. And when he says, well, you married me because whoever the fuck the shorty is in the same context and whatever name is, what is being said in the count of this episode. So like four and fifteen, some big pull a different thing. And account for this video, problem with the pitch and the precautions for how sad stitch this man because his acting is gummy top notch excelente, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's little things. She says, No, oh, this is cute, but I'm a lesbian. Looking dead at him. He's like, oh, Dead sight, and then niggas start making this shit, and he pondering everything he did like shit, and it's just the face of like, damn, I ain't know it, but everybody up in this bitch except for Tortoise knew it, and it's like, damn, it's just funny to me because I was dying laughing, like I was crying, nigga. This is the first time besides Dashy XP, shout out to Dashy by the way, where I was dying my ass off beyond comprehension. Like this thing that's a lot more like critically funny. Like this is the first time besides some goofy shit that even as a little nigga I could peek in to see funny. This was just funny because of like good considerable funny writing. That's the only taste that I had. Because he is crying about being sad. With this being said. Considerably. And she don't give a fuck. This shorty is gay. She likes the owl girl. Fine, whatever. They talk about going on Netflix and show where the fuck. And my nigga. Straight up. Is like, I'm not giving up. You can't tell me to give up. I'm going to push as hard as I can. And he's like, how hard is it going to be a push? What else is going to be there to push? And he's like, I don't know, Tortoise. Like some random bullshit. And then there's a sister from the have some Clippers. And he's like, I'm not doing it. I'm not. No, no there's a way. And he's like, there is no other way. You only have one choice. It's either this or you're getting an address. And he's like, no. But then eventually he does do the dress shit. This nigga almost did the Clippers, though. I ain't going to care for my memory. But it was something a long time ago. Like, 2019, I think. Maybe, like, the last time I picked into it. I think maybe, like, from memory. I think, yeah. It's been, like, a long million years. Maybe I peaked in 2021. I don't know. It's been such a long time. But it's, like, in account for all of it, that's mainly the reason why. Um, I can tire me so long as well. Right now. But continuing on, that's my biggest form of inspiration. Now, on the other side, I would say collectively, probably time between Dashie and Corey, but I'd probably say Corey, just his funny mannerisms, him as a person. I respect him all around. And my critical points on him still said about all the good things on my objective stand for ranking YouTubers still standing there, which I want to talk about that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to him and everything else, with that being said. And yeah, pretty much it. 53 minutes in. Now, for the purpose of this, we'll talk about a shout out to some people I want to say. I want to shout out a few people that inspired me, give a little synopsis. I have a long list, it's all from the dome. If I think of anybody else, I'm going to give a shout out. But I just shout out to Sam Gladiator for inspiring me to become the man that I am in bigger form, purpose, and content. Shout out to Dashy, you've always been funny to me, influential, and inspiring. I know that my mom and dad all together in a sense, sense of who you are from then to now have bad things about you to say and also stitch good things in the credit for how in the grand scheme you help pull some person from content idea and better presence of guidance and light effectiveness out of me that even makes sense. Light effectiveness, light effectiveness. Fakeness. Uh, so like I said, fakeness. But then I said fakeness. Fakeness. Like in the, like, like, I don't know. Because in the same sense, like you pulled a great deal of then that light and fakeness. And fakeness. Fakeness. Yeah. I kind of. Effect. 
Effectness, 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 effectness. I don't know. I don't know. It's been mis- I don't even know exactly why. I said it so fast that in the midst of saying that, like, mannerism, pull, like, you did a great deal to me in comparison, like, on you created me and I created you some bullshit, like, some fucking financial phrase. Snap with, like, spring trap mixed with spot with my nigga Miles on the floor over here. But, big side, it's like, you put out light, grace, and fatness to bring out a better purpose with me for different things, and I respect that. Also, they can feel, and like I said, my mom specifically, especially with my dad as well, but mainly seeing my mom think that he was a bad example. And the grand took, yeah, from my age, like fucking nine or ten years old, shit, I've been watching a nigga like that, she, fuck no, but. He was so funny to me. I love everything about my Dashy XP, 1 and 2, Dashy Games. You always been a P YouTuber to me. You pulled a great dose to me. They could agree. Commonly conjointed, even with my parents being split, still love me. I love both of you, mom, pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? They both agree in that you held a bigger bad stand on my career. So that's like a person. Kind of like with some of the words, things that I know that I shouldn't. But I love his gaming aspect. I love everything about him. But they do have some little took of like kind words to say around as a person. And my mom didn't like him because all the cursing and the type of fed he brought to me. And there's some considered to be where it wasn't good, but it was more my language. I didn't like full potty mouth it to the biggest. And I did have a potty mouth on me. And it was around a tick of time where I kind of was in my hood ride stages of being a young form kid, infant stand. Right? Because I've always been the kind of a rowdy count of kid. And this is again my young infant credibility of being a better smear of new plating of a chess man since. Where I was rising above that shit to maternal style. But in the case of this, it was this new tick in the shit. That was not my place to be because I already looked to weird shit as a kid growing up. You know, obviously Gen Z. This is a great sport of shit I shouldn't already be in, but I'm in anyway. And again, considerably, this is a new smear of new chess man sense, right? With involving me as a person. As again, he brought that light grace out of me that collectively take better strongness and content, mind, purpose, even as a person. Because I believe you all round dope, roundabout dude who a soldier as a nigga. Like, I respect his grind, his hustle, and his caring and credit for his fans and his great personality. And this really being a strong form chess of a man sense. This chess man sense that was being brought out, core form thing that brought me to new hills and to capture my character. And so my respect is went beyond the fucking roof for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, no dick riding shit. That really brought that in. I got on the repetition of saying that whole chess man analogy really brought that to fill because in analogy to Timmy Turner, I'm just saying the whole new chess man sense really came into full because I found that glory stand. I really stepped up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Either way, though, with all other inspirations, I already said Corey, so explanatory, so delirious. Respect you, bro. I don't care what a nigga look like. Just respectful, honorable dude. Cartoons, respect you, too. I want to say thank you to Tupac, Biggie, Muhammad Ali. I mainly respect Biggie a lot because his inspiration when he talked about his song, he was like a nigga like me. Yo, chubby nigga on the scene. He used to play deuce, deuce, all that bullshit. I love all that case of mine for his rap and I respect him and account for how he hold himself up and how he got females without just getting money. Mike Tyson, I respect for his great age showcase in the ring and his change as a man. His very inspiration. His life is like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Respect to Chadwick Bozeman. Great deal of love and care coming from that man. Rest in peace to him. Great showcasing with the T'Challa. With that being said, I got a black padded poster in the right of me here for my stand here, right in my light shelf. My neck just being so tired, motherfucker. Them with others. YouTube wide. There's a great collection. There's Collins World, Crisis, Key Issues. Main person to really stingingly get me into the whole power scam more in depth bitch, even though I don't fuck with him super now because type of content in regard to different accounts about him, I will give him his flowers. YFV or your favorite villain did pull me into it, but he's seen new cases and stuff. That's kind of the to me from a fan base sense. 
So that's why I don't have that case. I like his form in the grand scope, but no big form of disrespect to me. Just all the accounts about you and how you do your power scaling, your videos. Not my type of thing. No indignation to you. Same thing with others. So that's a one cloud nine. G grimy. Collins World, I want to say one more thing about besides this encounter with this. Being that, I also love a lot of his kids' videos and tales with the Spider Man materials. Stream they were doing a two hour 36 minute from plus golf video. Hey. Came within the rock of like others. I'm thinking because they have a great plethora. But my entire subscription. To be like inspirational in general, which I don't want to go for because a great deal of them, like a thousand plus. Markiplier, few, few of like some other people besides the big ones. These are like, these are iconic people. I just want to say, I was for credit and my love for them, but Markiplier and pick of like other people like that also help. Mainly like Markiplier, Jack the Kai. PewDiePie didn't, and I don't like PewDiePie as a kind of creator and as a person, kind of mixed on. Then there was of other people, well, professional, that hold all the kind of like, and there's the generosity and like a statue, like Collins were in a kind of main poor and cruel creations. She honestly hold that. We're talking Pacific. And round about other part of content, there's Poncho. I like him. I respect him. Optimus, KSI, JJ is one of the biggest inspirations to me. I love him more. He's a creator. I hope him the best against Tommy. I think Tommy over a while do him. But I hope he pulls the greatest amount of fighting fury that he can against them. Wish you the best, man. Hope you don't lose. I don't know if you'll win, but I just hope you don't lose. You know what I'm saying? And I like him all around as a person. You know what I'm saying? I respect him. I think all around pretty good dope dude. Being said, Logan Paul, at one point, was somebody serious when I was younger, but all poor and bullshit about him. I don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with his wife. He says, in a sense, since his fiance about to turn his way. It has nothing to do with his bad. as a person that's scamming shit. You as a person, fake shit. She Dion, respect you. Stop hanging out with fuck niggas like Sneak on Fresh and Fit. Dumbass niggas. Young Don the Sauce guy at one point still considerably nice, but she is Christian path. But I want to start like him. Susie definitely like him. Steezy Kane, there was a point. Sneeko, I'm talking way, way, way. I'm talking prime Sneeko, bro. I'm talking Sneeko that thought the way he did, but had a crowd of different stances of people that got into his shit that. Were intellectual, there was no bias, no pen to one ad pocket form view, and was strong for my deal. Now, that was before an account with me knowing that he defended cuties, which his arguments still stand as being violated into the case of like new ways. Like, I'm not even talking about rats, and that's kind of just weird and wild. And the purpose and stand, talking about literally defending something regardless of intention is deliberately immoral. And again, this is a sneak out. Now, I've now, but kind of considered me thought similar in the case of near the damn man, the same way he thought in different perspectives. But I had a great crowd and great crow of different points being flared out each time with inspect of what he does. And it's not just yelling stupid shit, no proud baseness of what he does, no stitch. A actual strong sense mindset, and again, his fans, his great clout growth, and his great credit and stuff, and all around his glow pour of busting stand and intellectual artistic talent is something a great deal. Brandon Buckingham, he will beat the fuck out of Sneeko, Sneeko old bitch. But that being said, Brandon, respect you. I respect Steezy. I wish Brandon, Steezy, and everyone else could have been friends, but I know the kinds of I'm not gonna get into that. I can get to that during time. But yeah, there's a few people. I one's out. Respectable dude. Turny Crystal dude who makes some stop motions. Respect to you. Inspirational shit and creation stem. Or the brother helped out a lot with for my, my nigga Valm being someone that was being good. Who? Cool. 
Well, it's thinking about an hour for this 23 seconds. But like I said, if I'm, if I'm, of my nigga Valen within the case of this, which is kind of two different things, because, I mean, he's just simply inspirational, but in the same saying, but then it seemed like it was different. It was only in the form of me thinking on their accounting because, again, it's just off in the mind and simple talking. Like, yeah, for the form of the forms of, like, my nigga Valen, my brother, older brother to be exact, Paul Gredo, inspiration to me would be my older brother, Kim, or some things. You know, we had conversations, fights, or whatever. He's still my older brother, and I still love him to death. And if you're watching this, big bro, love you, dog. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. I appreciate you making this far because I don't know that because nigga been talking for a minute in this lonely ass room just doing whatever all because I had a great day you know what I'm saying whenever this episode because I'm probably going to upload this time of when I finish but by the time I finish nigga this shit might be at like 12 a.m. I don't fucking know dog but yeah I saw in the great porous version like I said if I think of anybody else it would be fine but simply like Valen Steezy came great hooligan form delirious and especially in the higher regard count him like up there Berlizzi in the form of the matter of form of niggas like Berlizzi and other niggas cool Brock was Rico cool as hell would it be as hell Ohm Wrecker used to be almost there but Ohm Wrecker a bitch I don't fuck with him either there's that other from celebrities Drake surprisingly did in the grand scope for his message and purpose him now tentacle corner moves by Sir Sir Noah Ryan he's still top 10 Former artist to me all around of all time. X, Kendrick, J. Cole, niggas like that. All respect, especially as Rick Ross. Definitely Fat Joe. All them niggas. 50. Other kind of niggas. I can respect Linux. People like that. Free Ronald Diaz. I can respect as a former fighter. The Nate Diaz. I respect a great deal. Khabib. I respect a great deal as well. Hunter Avalon. This is what I just want to say that I respect him in the grand scope at full. Because I respect him now. Definitely respect to him. I'm a form person. Even though I don't agree every form to even though granted it's against form people that don't have a risk of like pair form taking. I wish I got a discussion with him at their form if I fully go about. But yeah, respect to him. Said it was an interesting debate with him. And, you know, not the sauce God. I'm Dante. Trey Rags, Long Beach Griffey, Caleb City, Lenar, and most part RDC World, or that Daquan, Children Adonis, Alex, I forgot his name, niggas like that. There's so many respect and great inspiration from all of them. But yeah. So that's it when it comes to this. And all inspiration and shout out and the kids things, being thankful for and people and all that. And I'm just proud about all that. I'm glad I got one job. I earned it, like I said, but I also got to thank and a prayer to God. God probably been waiting on this. And I'm not trying to act like I ain't grateful, but to close my eyes, put my hands together in a quiet form prayer. And the form is in this case of the form of my man, God. Thank you. Father, great Lord, the most profound, the most divine. Jesus Christ, I respect you. And I appreciate you for pushing me to be the best man I can be. Without God, I would not be here. And I appreciate that you, the great God Father, be here for me. To bless me, to bless my friends. And bless everybody that watched this video and all across. And bless me on the way. Bless me to have great health, Lord. Bless my mama to be safe, Lord. Bless my mama with great care, Lord. And may forever have profound greatness, and no evil shall conquer, no evil shall prosper, no devil shall enclose me, and I shall be great in the greatest grace. And thank you for making a nigga so handsome. I'm stop on the road, so pray. Amen. While on the road without God, I would not be here. My fame, I'm a strong form Christian. I don't have no strike, and I had a pocket form beliefs. So I'm a very objective for man. I do believe probably in the Bible. I do believe all around that Jesus is my savior. I believe in the cause. I believe in the truth. I believe in the best means and may God bless my grandmother who had a big great A form inspiration on me. For my purpose, what is being said. And yeah. 
I'm going to talk about some stuff about my YouTube stuff and my dreams and case things. And it'll be the ending wrapping of this. This has been a long stream run of all this and kind of stuff. I've been recording a kind of more nine minutes and 20 seconds. So 11, 29 p.m. 9, 26, 2023. Okay. I check my channel, my check some text messages while we looking at the rest of this. I don't even know what to say with this being said. That takes a while. What do you mean, why? So I was talking about that. But shout out to my boys, you know, people believe in me. And a lot of people them wrong. And I'm hating ass niggas, please keep the rest of my suckling nuts and cock in your mouth, bitch. Hating on me. Just want to show them haters one time. You know, I have like a sting grade, bro. But I know there's another some niggas trying to downgrade me. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Pushing our work, though. Trying to go for calling from my previous channel. The kind of content is being said. And around with the stuff so hold up one time Like y'all can ask anything, it's just like be fine here. I'm just saying it was like a brainstorm.
Bills right now. I'm on the plane and being sick. Okay, tell them I'm going to get some more games. 101 subscribers, 1.1k videos, and 31,727 reviews. Hello everyone, I'm a mod, I'm a gamer trying to make videos to make you laugh, get hyped, and have fun. I want you all to enjoy my stuff and be lovely. I'm Christian and half Egyptian. We're going to grab your name, say, so stand on my name. I want you guys to know that I'm just trying to live my best life. I miss it. But it really is just that. I don't know why I put that in something else. Let me tell you that I was trying to convert to Islam, but being said, which I'm strong believers, but the other half of the Islamic world is discussing to me very creative, not to pen as a name for Muslims, as but you know, a person holding high regard is Muslim, but no disrespect with that being said. But simply put, I'm just trying to live my best life and gaming is dope to me. I pray it's worth being for. I also I like G and Victoria, but either way, I hope you guys will enjoy my channel. I'm also 14. I'm not 14 anymore, so be considerably. This can change, which I do plan to do, because like I've already made my milestone point. But it being said, by this point, I'm looking at this, so I don't need to, and it's kind of outdated. And that's what I'm about it should just be on the Mon Rock Games. Welcome to my world. But it's being said, like how I have this kitchen line before me regarding my first video, which I'm gonna change more in depthly when I get full edit. I'm not doing all this tonight. I'm going to bed, nigga. Because if not, I ain't going to school tomorrow. Because I, I can't do it. It's not going to work. But this side, I'm just I'm about to go to school. My mom will be on my ass. But if not, nigga, I ain't coming back home if I go outside. Big side, though. Anyway, hello there, everyone. My mom, welcome to my world. Simple as hell. I call Khan. I call Kutu Khan. Cousin of Kubla. Grandson of Dennis. What's up? But since we're not in that Batman shit, that shit, I hold on. Same room. We got my videos. This is who. Shima, our video. Okay, Ashes Wrath, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, Final Fantasy 4. My most popular video, so then we got the video that blew up miraculously wild. Injustice 2 Flash is the Go Exclamation Point Cone Part 3, 5.5k views. Let's pick this. So it grew as an I'm suggesting because of the form of running showcasing of five reverse flash and in regard to a chase scene mixed with them speed blitzing across the fucking world or something across the globe. And if we'll add five dollars five hundred and forty seven views, this is October twenty third, twenty twenty two. I have ninety nine likes with one hundred. I have six comments and they are I love this scene. I just knew it was gonna play the flash theme on the chase part. Good job, bro. So I realistic that the flash is super fast and none of his opponents should even have a chance at a simple hand to hand fight with him and Harley must have had one of those super pills to be able to beat three big as wheels to his mission. True on the possible second part. It is a video game, so I mean it's like it is what it is. If you said I even assume there are any kind of greater capabilities or anything else. I like the edits, however, I do think you might want to try and find better music when I put that way. I didn't really know what it meant. I said I appreciate you what music would you suggest though, even though it might be different tastes, because like that's kind of subjective. The Walsh, the Flash is a W character. Getting the teddy bear as my friend, Far Cry Prime 1.9k views, part 15. Then the only comment is this guy called at Iron Missouri saying very bad, and I put I don't even know what to take from that. This guy know who he is. We had a case of debate, says case of discourse, not like in a full beef sense, but I disagree with him. He went to my channel, is put very bad like content. While I don't even know what this means, it can mean whatever. But the fact that you went after a way to come to my channel after a negative sense of dispute, cautious more of you to me because like you're trying to put me down. But it's not gonna work, and this nigga has no content on his stuff, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but you have no subscribers, you upload no stuff. I've done more than he could possibly do in a general sense. I'm not just putting out nobody, but it's like, if you wanna get on me or say anything like that, you can, but what are you doing? Like, at least I'm doing something. I feel like if you would attack my case of status, 
Consider it be, yeah, you can do that. I'm low. I'm farther. I'm a form of a nobody. I'm a noob to this shit. But at least I push and at least I inspire. It's like you coming at a nigga getting his bread from Wendy's, which are hardcore. Maybe you can get a better job. But am I making money? Am I doing great or sand stuff? Do I do good at my job? Am I serving your food? Yeah. Because like a barber with your cut, I make your food. If I fuck up your food and I get you food poisoning, yeah, you can fuck me up too. But I'm going to fuck up your intestines. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not even saying the same thing. I'm just saying, like, you can hate on all you want, but who has better credit? The nigga just hating on a nigga doing something or the nigga hating when, and by definition, I can't see him across what you're doing, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only kind of, like, difference I have for haters. I don't really take it as too much to heart. I'm just saying, like, when I already got context, I already, like, not for, like, at least what he says by disagree form sense. Because we, again, respect a comment, you can agree, disagree, that's where it plays the From here. Watching this ad screen, we need 1.6k views. So, so comment. this guy watches. My chip. How to be a great sage. Shaolin guide for honor. So, there's 98 views, 15 likes. This piece of Sheldon guy still stands all around for me. My first episode of Ghost of Shima. There ain't no way that the last of us two is beating this or should have Ghost of Shima part one. Nine likes, 673 views, you like it, This is literally says to Japan facts. But yeah, I agree with that statement for Harlan. The guy in the comments said title is straight facts. Now it's eight likes and then nine, okay? Why dislike King Kong 1900? Alright, this is gonna be a big case to be talking about. Okay, this has 656 views, 21 likes, 31 comments. I'm going to talk more about this video going forward with the comments because there's 31 of them. A great video, Casey Tart, and he say about it. But I'm going to just say this. I don't agree with everything Tyler has said, not least in the tone of, like, purpose. Right? But I still stand hard with it because at least in comparison with it. I can't put back only in the extreme I would have definitely better articulated more, probably said things better, and I wish I didn't record this video at the time of night, so I could better concentrate my thoughts on one different thing to another, kind of like not ramble, going different splurge, things like that. But all around, I still stand what I stand for. So the man himself, King Tron 1900, comments in the case of my comment session saying, 10 out of 10, kind of agree with all your points. It's okay for being negative, like you said. You came back way more cooler than you hoped. 12 likes. Now, my two replies is interesting statement from you. I just want to say, though, period, if this is a mock or anything of the sort, I don't care, and I will be me for who I am, and you should do the same. But if you think that I became more than I hoped after talking a lot of shit, then I think you got to be the most ironic YouTuber to pull back on that when I come with the heat like this. And what I mean by that, to simply say my opinion about it, because it's all come together in agreement, that, yeah, in the same for him, maybe feeling bad, that's true. But I don't know how strong that is to me personally. And I want to seem like I'm basing this off from by because this is just objective truth in the matter from all kind of things that he possibly won't say. And this is no big beef. There's no big stain on him. But it's just how I feel. You're watching this. is the same thing. I'm going to say this full straight up. I have no hate to you, King Kong 800, to a bigger extent. I just view this as kind of like shady, actually in the stand of where your stance actually in the grounds of true, actual regret or accountability is at, right? I don't view this as being true case accountability because you did something that even though in the grand scope now, where I'm at now, almost an adult from a young adult standpoint, I don't care. It's just you did it, which then by collaboration is out of pocket and is some bullshit. You had no strong purpose while doing that, right? And it was some fake shit. You're abusing the copyright system. People are getting slapped multiple times because of that. Fresh and Fit tried doing it with one of the people that get my channel taken down. It's very shallow activity. If you are truly sorry about it, you have my Instagram. It's not like he has my phone number and can phone call me or text me, whatever regard. But he has a reasonable regard, be able to stitch to that extent. He could have called me for a general plane call. He could have texted me. 
You have not blocked me for what I know on Instagram. And you could have easily texted me. Now, if you can't and you want to open up about that, that's fine. But I feel like it's ironic that you say that you agree without indirectly apologizing. He didn't indirectly apologize to me. He just said, 10 out of 10, I agree. Okay, you agree with these statements, but are you going to acknowledge what you did was bad? Like, you're not talking to me. You're not talking to the person. It's like if I would call out someone in a public setting or do something that could affect them behind the scenes to a bigger present public setting and then after a spot of stuff, after calling them out, after being mean, after being full out of pocket and deliberately a mean ass nigga, I'ma pull back on what I said to then play the kind of form of like, oh yeah, I agree with everything you say, you spin straight facts and you came this like you're basically trying to ponder off of all the things that I said to be a reckoning of what you did was wrong to play into a kind of like sympathy or like likeness card when not saying it's entirely fake, but I don't know how genuine this is. I don't know how strong truly this is because you're not apologizing to me, the person. There's no, I'm sorry. I understand why you're mad. I take full responsibility for what I said was wrong and what I did was wrong. You don't apologize to the people. i never seen you directly change from what you're about to see in the comment section. And I don't see true valid stuff. And maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just a hateful ass nigga. Maybe I take things too personally. And I'll be honest. I'm going to be honest, full, straight up with y'all. Hand to God like shit. Straight to my fans. As a person, I do take a little pitch stuff personally. Not to an overbearing extent. But in the words of my mother, love to my mom. Shout out to her. One of my inspirations. Even though, you know, me and my mom get this for time. She get on my nerves. I'm Know that she does what she does because she loves me and I appreciate everything she done for me. But in the words of my own mother, I am like a sensitive dude. But what he did was deliberately wrong, regardless of how sensitive or not you are. Because you can't come here one second trying to say that you're sorry, but then you deliberately and constantly pull a fake sense in the mix. Of trying to say, quote unquote, I'm sorry. That's where I have a problem. That's where I just fall off from the boat of even having likeness at all with anything that you say. Because, like, it's deliberately seeming like cap. It seems like you're just saying it because in a public setting. Because if I didn't have as much views as I do with this video, or I didn't pull clout, I didn't pull a bigger means, how honest is this nigga? How honest is he going to be? Again, like my analogy, if I call you all these type of things and I pull back, how honest are you? How I know you truly change? I don't know you as a person, so I can't call him a terrible scum of the earth, but I do think it's kind of fake. So, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. If you truly sorry, it's whatever. It's water on the bridge at Hardcore, Imano. But it's like, you always going to be looked at as me, a considerable possible fake person. And I do think proudly, everything you did is the greatest showcase and explanatory case showcasing by action that you are a bitch you are a fake person and you are disgraceful as a youtuber with higher amount of views subscribers and experience to be doing this and even if you were younger which again he doesn't elaborate and be specific how younger he was because i know he likes to be anonymous and all that bullshit i'm not asking for your whole like personal shit but that's not strong enough and i feel like it's because Considerably, he doesn't strike as much viewage or hardcore or something as this and this and this. That doesn't matter as much. And again, I don't think by saying he's all these different things I'm saying entirely not. But by action and by pretense, what you said, that still would strike the fake bitch nigga activity that I ranted about in the video. So a great deal of my points and concerns. Yes, why particularly why I have it be a little bit better basis or tone? Absolutely. But the main point that... I dislike King Kong 9100, which I hardcore, I still do, still stands. You still have not showed me that you have changed more. And I don't care to get all mad or where the fuck. I'm just saying that's just how I feel. And because niggas like Fresh and Fit or whoever likes to abuse that shit, likes to pull that shit. Yeah, that's where my respect goes 
low. And if you are any YouTuber, unless considerable reason, unless a context where considerably you are deliberately stealing from them or pulling fake stuff or this and this and this, if you deliberately with no strong purpose and considerably by any accord as an unspoken rule as a YouTuber, abuse or pull out the fucking copyright case infringement over some bullshit, you is a sorry ass nigga. You is a fake person and you know you are. If you do that or you know anybody who does, you need to check yourself, bro. Because it's disgraceful without a pocket it's pulling the fucking shotgun out in the middle of the duel of just guns. It's pulling something that's out of pocket in the midst of discourse or whatever, me and him have different opinions, but doing something that's deliberately going to take my video down because you salty and you can't take another person's opinion, you can't take a case of discourse, you can't prove anything that I said was wrong, you didn't have a formal case debate with me in a different case, and all credit to him, at least you talk with me, but your talk was unprofessional and uncommonable for a debate to be realistic, yet people get mad and shit on debate, but you coming at me as a person out of pocket, and you grown. I don't know how younger you are, nigga. I don't even know how old you are, but that excuse is not going to work here, okay? I was younger, but people know my age, and it adds up over time because I've changed my opinion. I've changed my ways as a person, and all hands to God, God know who I am. I know I've changed as a person, I know not to say I'm perfect because, nigga, I got sins in me too. We all do. We all not perfect. We all do bad things considered be maybe not the best in one stance. But I would say I'm a silent nigga. I don't know about you, but I would just better perfect the craft of showcasing that you are better. Because I'm not going to take that. I don't know how many people are going to take that. They can accept your apology, but don't expect me respectfully to take that because that's not a true apology. You did not apologize to the person through private or public setting. So, for all I know, that's bullshit. That's all I have to say. I'm going to stop what is being said, but still, facts, man, all facts. You got a new subscriber said by Godzilla. You on there, my bad. I'm on the big fact talking. At Godzilla, case slash Zulu. The case of. Ten hours, Zulu. 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 Godzilla slash Zulu. 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 I went to the zoo. I went to the zoo. Like zoo. It's zoo. Because it's because it made me sick. Because it made me try not to fuck young. Because I am tired. But it's being sick. But still, that guy's a little zoo. He's like, whatever. And that's kind of looking weird. But he just said that. And then there's a case of comments of this being said. Aaron is like big disconnecting. I'm a car is full sick as my my computer and it is solid, but like I don't know if this is like a disrupt within the internet because the rest of the internet is okay. Block. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what my mom would do that. I want the power to turn off the internet for punishment reasons. I know it's late, but like she just walked past me like twice. So she really felt like what she could have said that. I don't know why it has to be this phone. I'm have my other phone, but it's like I'm not trying to just skin here to go and look at it. It's just like annoying, like for no reason.
It's the same thing with you, but I don't know why. There is a new show. It's the same show. It's the same show. It's the same show. It's the same show. This kind of sounds weird. You didn't like saying I'm laughing for you. It sounds like you're saying I am, but laughing for you. I don't know, it made his like room voice is on so this uh he trying like full wake up but new phone got two phones but from my memory is this some saying that Godzilla getting to have my full content by case of discourse with King Kong 9100 and another case fan that tested the same sense of common sense within it at a different point after talking with King Kong 100 and during his sorry for you on the account comment was being said in the account of it was just like the same thing with multi poor I say of him pulling some out of pocket shit in his own right within his talks so yeah and then that here I'm gonna pick up the comment section shit like that from this Everybody's patient was being zero so long. I'm a, what the fuck, bro? It's in between. Ink in between. That's what the fuck. Okay, I don't know. Wait a minute. YouTube shit. Fall out in between because ink in case it could be for that. It's just the pain, okay? It was weird. I danced because it was standing against the rod because I had it left on the bar stand for my race of TV. Max, like, he's so higher up. So it's like, yeah, I'm finished with you. It's true, but it's like, so far, but I really do sound so young. I feel like I sound so much different. So it was cool to see. Anyway, Gazo slash to Silicon, or just to the I put thanks, you're welcome. I put a case of, this tearless link. You might like that because it's kind of tearless. That's a hundred, so no. It's different. He puts a different form of comment and point. But this person at Gibson Studios, 72, 71, I approved um, a long time ago. We were going to work together on a project of his where I was going to make him some SFX. I don't know exactly what that means. That up. He ended up ghosting for months on end. We finally interacted again when he was being a toxic DC fan, hitting Zack Snyder's work and tells me I suck off to other YouTubers because I share the same opinion. By his logic, we might as well say he sucks off to King Kong because he's a fan. We ain't going to elaborate further on that. Oh, yeah, he also blocked me on Instagram. Nothing new. He couldn't handle me. Well, I guess. Okay, first of all, the phone is blacking out on me. Because I got too much overload and notifications. Because it's being a phone my account. But still, so true by this other guy who encouraged you to find. Put it in my tearless link. You guys might like this video if you're kind of using a tearless link. Okay, you should see his comments because half of the time you cannot take people disagreeing with him seriously. And so I made a grand fax G. Mike, ah, David, is this be. What? What? Like, it's not like he spelled it entirely bad. Because simply put, he just put, ah, David, is this because you kept gatekeeping King of the Monsters or KOTM? There's no question mark, Lamo, get off your own account. Is it because of the fact that he put that? Is it because, like, what? 
I don't even understand where that comes because obviously I wasn't there for the contest, but it's like I don't understand because like this is proven the same extent, but not entirely. Like, what? This is like reading the other half because like I was thinking like because like Ah David is just what? what? This is good. It's not even the same content that's in the past. Now, granted, it can be that, but if it's in reference to something like that, then it's that. But he even mentioned King of the Monsters, so I don't even know where this is coming from. That's just me, though. Look, you just proved my point. I mean, kind of. Kind of like how you gatekeep everyone else whenever they say something you don't like, question mark. You literally cannot take any opinions that goes against yours without getting all angry and calling them every single name in the book. This guy, Frost by Digital... Is the guy that commented on that for likes. That's not true at all, my guy. I always welcome discussion. I know I definitely was like that way back then when I was younger. Does it specify? But still, on the channel, engaging in the whole debate thing. But nowadays, I always welcome other opinions and insight on all things kaiju. It's okay to hate, but David specifically has always had a problem with me because I just never liked King of the Monsters and because he acts fake as fuck on my actual channel. Separate thing entirely. People change, though. And it's okay not to believe that or believe I personally haven't. It's all good. Well, it's not that. It's also about what you show. Like... We should believe people can change like Mike Tyson, but if you ever showcase any of his change to someone on a different hand and then did it to another person who has a stingingly considerable grade to considerable credit of not to come back to the same thing I was like in the past, my nigga, then it's not going to be any strong gauge of truly how much he changed. But you seem to consider my opinion in all of the poor of great, a vain, tearing, and crunch strongness of true pain and sorrow that my man Mike has went through in this journey to being a better man and finding discipline, different foundation. And this is a boxer, a person, and a man of different form of faith in comparison to me being a Christian and being referring to Islam. I can respect it. But if you don't show it, oh, no. Nah. Mike takes about all credit, a terrible person. No matter agree, disagree, if you think he a rapist, it doesn't matter. He's a terrible person. By that custom, by that mindset, he is a terrible person. That's the same stand. You could be different, but how much different are you? You could be different where you're not a bitch, but is it only in public? Because that's where I take this. I don't know how you like outside. You're on a public conversation. You're on YouTube right now. How are you going to be like in the private DMs? I got DMs. I know how you like. Now, granted, it's in the past, but that's how I feel. That's literally how I feel as a person, how you are. That's how I see it. But still. Who really only have two reasons to hate me, Colin? My opinions on the general idea of King Kong and Godzilla fighting in my review of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Well, that's not entirely true, but still. There's a myth where people think I hate Godzilla and think King Kong can destroy him in a fight. That's not true. I love both monsters. I think it would be cool to see King Kong as a cage. You be able to take Godzilla distance but still lose. I just like the idea of seeing Godzilla face a threat and a challenge. The other thing is how I feel about King of the Monsters. I just think that movie is really bad and that Godzilla deserved infinitely better as a character. I didn't like the human characters. I didn't like the monster action, okay? Because it constantly cut away and wasn't well choreographed. I thought the writing was lazy. I thought the VFX were spotty, etc. Other than those two things, and as I mentioned, the debates used to get into when I was way younger. The hate is getting pretty tiring. If people can't move past things that happen in the said past, I get that. Really, I do. But taking my words out of context for things like my opinions on GBK or my thoughts on King of Monsters as a film is where I kind of have an issue. All I ask is people be open-minded rather than see one hot take of mine and go, quote, unquote, he sucks. He said he hates King of Monsters. He's a godzilla. I hate to look at his comments, end quote. Go to some of your vids. You're taking down one of them. Yeah, you can have your opinion on King of the Monsters, but stop saying it was terrible and making all these videos that say it's about the monsters being weak and scary in the mess. Congo facts, it's annoying, like, sorry, people like him, but we don't. Some monsters other trash. That was years ago, and his opinion is his opinion. You're literally proving his point. Uh, so. 
Average opinion, but it's videos created talk to ass fans that ruin discussions. It's all been said a little bit now, but yeah. Yeah, but it's not his fault. He can't control what they do. Agree. I contacted him on my vid and we worked it out. I respect his opinions now. A couple weeks ago, I thought he was the primary problem, but he's not good. I mean, it's cool to see some people get some closure, with it being said. And again, no full hate. Don't contact this man on social media or any other account, with it being said. For case, comment section, where the fuck. But that's how I feel about him. Moving onwards, though. We got case of my uh, piping Aphrodite part nine takes of a guy for 44 views three likes now in different case i can simply remove this video it's not needed and i've grown so way more behind this but i only have it up for it being the first video of mine that did grow to this extent and granted it's aphrodite and stuff but no on the real it's like i got nothing to say about it it's a weird form video that i have and it's there that's why i really say for Shima, Ghost of Shima Part 10. This grew randomly for seven minutes long. 483 views. I don't even know. God of War, I'm getting raped by hentai tentacles. 479 views. It's like just clickbait. My first clickbait video is being set. Upgrade oh, is dealing with hentai tentacles, not literally. And all that. Now, block on all some Wukong arguments. This is a video I'm still standing my ground on for the most part. We're sending chain opinions. It's being said, all oh, the monkey being the most powerful character in fiction. Nine likes, 428 views. 22 of time, but it's being said, well, the year. In this case, Alright, it's a motherfucker. Sorry. Look weird in case of your life. Sorry. Sorry. Guys, I'm real. Guys, sorry. Guys, sorry. 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 Weird. Okay, Sam. Sorry, it's my son. Because of yawn and mix it. My brain is closed again. We're falling with things. And in regard for waking up, a full articulation of the last very first in 2022. But this video, like I said, I did four opinions on, eight likes, so that's nine, I don't know if this took away nine, the that likes set up here. But I agree with everybody. I think Lobo is the most like contented, but I think all around I have better credit of strongly doing the best them. Now, I got 250 comments on it. This is my most common video. Because these two niggas in this comment section keep arguing, I'm not going to go over it because they will be typing out essays and it just keeps going down stupid shit because first reply has 174 replies and the second comment with this being said has 74 first one is someone coming out nirvana is just mountain level i didn't really try to go ahead and debunk this dude because it went on for multiple times i had to get educated and for his overall point i'm gonna read first before i say overall point it's just diluted of any kinds of actual better strongness and understanding of power scanning to me in the grand scope and how commonly stuff is used in the grand scope to now and I feel like his argument is kind of done because you compare that with any sense and granted yeah that's considered maybe a stronger form but if you do that with everything I want to see how consistent it is it's just a weird form of power scanning but to read and see look into it read this which is a whole essay of shit I just put interesting statements and look into what other people are saying. But he gets like backlash and gets big conversation and conversation with other people. It keeps going in the dude because I don't know if you stop on the reply. But no, the replies in at 500, which is went to his wife. It's interesting to see two niggas arguing in my comment section. So I have scans on Journey to the West. It's not even full double T. But so Journey to the West, Cosmology, and now I can give even views even high level. Niggas are weird. Arguing about the same thing. His argument stands as this comparing Simul Kong to how it should be maybe put in more precaution of the base time when we compare him to the actual time and line of history, knowledge of science and different depictions. He's been created to be a high form of regard of godlike being, sort of down form into being of this level because of one more physical operating feat. It's kind of stupid to me. It does not make sense. 
and you didn't do that with Chris, any other character. So I think all around stupid, but let niggas argue. It is what it is. The Grizz is for Samurai to learn what honor is with 418 views. And K11, Colton Khan is a beast, part two. I got shorts. I got my homies. I also want to say thank you to my man, Josh, aka Bot, for helping me grow my own right and pushing me to go about one different lane or the other, evolving growth. Shout out to Flo, aka my boy. Andre, with this being said, shout out to everybody with this being said. That's pretty much it when it comes on this video of all the things of like what I can do. My plan to grow, I'm gonna try to make it being short with a two point, and it's being in case now because it's 12 9 a.m., it's 9 27, so it's And it's kind of saying, I might get it's very close. In this case for stuff, I'm gonna be trying to grow the best. I'm uh, still keep the same video log, but be doing double time and then having double case content for a minute. Tell me if that's too much. I'm gonna uh, try to be as unique in form. Consider be trying getting series out a little more fast and considerable height. I got some stuff going on. I'm still obviously in school and doing stuff. I'm uh be mixed or something because I don't have a job. You know, I plan to get. I mean, you know, I want to take a break. Cause Nigga, I've been working at a job damn there a whole year. I want to take a break. I want to still get this paper. I'm going to set my money looking like, right? I'm going to be free, but I'm probably not going to be as expansive with content. Because I typically now got a hypothetical limit. Like, I always had a limit with money, but I knew that if I just keep playing this game or playing this and playing, I'm going to be doing that. I still got a collection of games, but without, like, PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live, I'm probably not going to have as much. And I'm not trying to get on my mom. My mom is going to do stuff. And I have money for me. And my dad now is going to put out the money to do this. I'm not saying he don't. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to be asked people for shit. Because I'm independent. I've been independent greatly. I'm not trying to ask people back to back for this shit. Even though, granted, the month of giving is coming. So, hypothetically, a great deal of content that I can use will come from that. It's also just my own exposure. There's also only one intro now. I'm done making multiple intros. I did it for a time. It was a phase. I like making intros, but I think one strong would be good. I don't want to make one too long, too short, one that's even and strong. So I'm either going to pick an intro that I very much like, or I'm going to test out an intro that's in my lightning, and I'm going to do it all around. I'm going to be doing a highlight reel of everything. I'm going uh, to post a video of my celebration, like stuff, whatever you said. I hope you guys will enjoy what's being said. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for 101 subscribers. I love y'all with this being said. Come on, W. I love y'all. I'm going to see you guys next. So, peace out, mommy. Love y'all.